Science is a way of thinking, much more than it is a body of knowledge. Its goal is to find out how the world works, to seek what regularities there may be, to penetrate the connections of things, from subnuclear particles, which may be the constituents of all matter, to living organisms, the human social community, and thence to the cosmos as a whole. Our intuition is by no means an infallible guide. Our perceptions may be distorted by training and prejudice, or merely because of the limitations of our sense organs, which, of course, perceive directly but a small fraction of the phenomena of the world. Even so straightforward a question as whether in the absence of friction a pound of lead falls faster than a gram of fluff was answered incorrectly by Aristotle and almost everyone else before the time of Galileo. Science is based on experiment, on a willingness to challenge old dogma, on an openness to see the universe as it really is. Accordingly, science sometimes requires courage, at the very least the courage to question the conventional wisdom. Beyond this, the main trick of science is to really think of something, the shape of clouds and their occasional sharp bottom edges at the same altitude everywhere in the sky, the formation of the dewdrop on a leaf, the origin of a name or a word, Shakespeare's say, or philanthropic, 